Rose Fleming, and I'm going to recite one of my poems, which is titled, On George W. Bush's Watch. On George W. Bush's Watch, a terrible war was started. Our president said it was to get rid of Saddam Hussein because he was a terrorist and he was insane. And the world grew further and further apart. Because of our leaders' deception, other countries' leaders changed their policies, closed their borders and their hearts. While Afghanistan and Iraq was bombed day after day. Now over 4,000 soldiers has died in some terrible, terrible ways. Food has become higher each and every day as gas and oil prices goes through the roof in a terrible, terrible way. And it's still going higher till this day as the economy hit rock bottom in a terrible, terrible way. The floods in Louisiana took many lives away while our president did little and barely had anything to say. As if he didn't care about American citizens day after day. So they received help from whoever came their way. As they were called refugees within their own land. As they went hungry, became sickly, and many cried. As they reached out to our leaders in despair with tear for your eyes. Men, women, and children sadly died. It was as if they wasn't even Americans and they were pushed aside. And we as Americans couldn't believe what we saw with our own eyes. And Louisianans are still hurting till this day because our leaders didn't acknowledge them when they was in harm's way. While New York was attacked by terrorists, leaving devastation upon America in the worst kind of way, which still hurts Americans till this day. And now another Republican is trying to run for president here? Which will bring more devastation upon America and make things worse here. And last month, our president was accused of Profiteering, unlawful combatant, wiretapping, violating Americans' rights, justification for invasion, Hurricane Katrina crimes, and more. And we don't want any more of this. We need to close the door and say to our leaders, we are not taking this anymore. And this is why we say no to you, Mr. McCain. Because the Republican policies are just too insane. Because everything that's listed here happened year after year under George W. Bush's watch here. Which brought devastation upon America. And this is so clear. And now we refuse to go through this another single year. Because we're not going backwards any kind of way. That's why we as Americans are speaking out today. So November the 3rd, 2008, vote no to Senator McCain. Because America, it is definitely time for change.